Like they said, it sounded like a freight train. I walked out and straight above my house, there was rotation, stuff flying everywhere. Oh my God, my family. Lord, please cover my family. That's what was going through my head as I was watching it, and then it was down there. If you haven't been out there, you have absolutely no idea of the devastation. Every time we turned a corner, it was like seeing something again for the first time. It really looked like a war zone. They're gonna be living under some very difficult conditions for a very long time, and we have to keep that in mind. All right, Charlotte Wong, I had another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Ka'alau, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Waha Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth. According to the Bible, peace and blessing to all you sincere I can push this Bible week in and week out. Hey, regardless of people here for a bear, man. You seen the clip. We'll call this GMS on the go storm and tempest. You seen how you have by Shemel Shai. Cause those storms, those tempests, we're gonna prove according to the scriptures, is you have by Shemel Shai visiting the earth, man. Okay? You saw the uh, yeah, the so-called white man and women and child, they wanna call on God when he tears this shit up. You know? Two thirds, y'all gonna get caught up in the mix too, man. You have by Shemel Shai, and this is um hurricane and tornado tornado season too, man. So y'all gonna get caught out there too, man. You have by Shemel Shai is gonna destroy everything, man. Before before the, that um those ICBM missiles and those chariots pull up on America, you have by Shemel Shai is gonna tear the shreds, man. With these storms, these hurricanes, enough earthquakes, America ain't seen that yet, man. So you heathens, get ready to to suffer, man. Just like Jake suffered, get ready to suffer, man. We're going to hop right into it, man. You know, you seen the clip. Everybody crying, and those tornadoes ain't no joke, man. You know, those whirlwinds, you know, I, it ain't no joke, man. We're going to hop right into it, man. You have a bunch of shots visiting this place called America, man. With those storms. Then the heat is one of all of a sudden... Um, have an epiphany, man. All of a sudden, they want to believe in the Lord, right? When you start tearing their shit up, they don't want to believe in the Lord, man. Well, no, you heathens got to pay for everything that you did to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. No matter how much you pray to the God of the Bible, he's not hearing you devils, man. Y'all standing on stolen land, man. Okay? You stole this land from our peoples, man. Then you got to pay, man. Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord, Yahweh Vashem Yahweh of hosts, the Lord of armies, with thunders and with earthquakes and great noise, with storm and tempest. Henceforth, the title of the lesson Storm and Tempest. That's how the Lord is going to visit this place called America, yo. And like the news forecaster said, this um, hurricane season and tornado season is going to be the worst one by far, man. Okay? That's the guy of the Bible. The guy of the Bible is pissed off with America, man. You know what I'm saying? You heathens, man. And two-thirds, man. They walk around proud. You know what I'm saying? Like, like y'all rule the world, man. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all gods on earth, man. But what did, what did the scriptures say? Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited. See, this is how the Lord is going to visit you peons, man. You so-called white people. And two-thirds, man, okay? And the rest of you heathens that's here in America being proud, man, okay? Like y'all guys give to the earth, man, right? Like your stuff don't stink, right? Like you can't be touched. Yeah, you got the fancy cars, the, the big giant houses, you know what I'm saying? You know? But guess what you think the God of the Bible cares about? They seen that clip, man. The God of the Bible rip up whole towns, man, and, and leave you homeless, man, in the blink of an eye, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you better start fearing your power, man. Or you might end up like the people on that news clip, man. Once again, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited 
of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahshua of hosts with stun with thunder and with earthquake and great noise. And you and you heard that dude said in that news clip, he said the um tornado sound like it was a um it was um locomotive man. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it mean it was real loud, man. Okay, real mad noise, man. You know I didn't I didn't been involved in um a hurricane, man. And you can hear it sound like a freight train, man, coming, man. The only thing you can do is just pray, man. Okay, but you heathens, you know what I'm saying? You pray to the God of the Bible. He's not hearing y'all, man. So who do y'all have to pray to? You better pray to the spiritual demon Satan, and he's gonna leave you for dead anyway, you know. What? Because guess what? He works for the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. Okay? Our power, man. Our power is, is going to destroy America, man. Okay? With storm and tempest, right? So once again, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh with thunder and with earthquake and with great noise and with storm and tempest. And that's what you're seeing going on, man. Okay? Enough storm, enough tempest. Coming to, to a city near you, man, to destroy your shit, man, okay? So, yeah, you got the big car. Man, the money can't deliver you, man, from the storms and the tempests that you have by Shemar Shai is bringing, man, okay? Nothing can. It says, and, and the flame of devouring fire, because when those storms come, they rip down the electrical poles. <laughs> Henceforth, it starts fires, you know? Henceforth, in that lightning, once it hit the trees, and it start blazing, then you have Bashim Yahshua bring the wind through to really create something, something massive, man. So you have Bashim Yahshua ain't finished with you people, man. Storm and tempest, man. Storm and tempest. Still in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 28. Salakia. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 8. Um, Behold. The Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, who you eagerly call God and Jesus Christ, so-called black man, right? <laughs> Have a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hell and destroying storm. And you saw that that storm destroyed cities, right? Destroyed whole towns, destroyed all their property, their houses. They had the four or five bedroom houses, the three, four story mansions. In a couple of seconds, the storm came through and ripped it all apart, man. Like it won't nothing. Like the guy in the Bible just like, Psh, nothing, man. You peons, you ain't nothing but ants till you have about Shimei Yahusha. Grasshoppers, man. Ashes and dirt, man. Why is ashes and dirt so proud, man? Because you have about Shimei Yahusha ain't finished with this place yet, man. You ain't seen nothing yet, man. Once again, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 2. Behold, the Lord have a mighty and strong one. Which as a tempest of hell, and you see that hell come down, you know what I'm saying, destroy your shit too. Golf ball size hell, you know what I'm saying, come down and destroy your stuff, right? That's all the power of the Lord, man. That's the Lord doing that, man. That's the Lord, that's the Lord dealing. It says, um, and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, shall cast down to the earth with the hand. And that's the hand of the Lord. That's the Lord visiting this place. When those storms come... When those, when those um, um, death-destroying winds come and they bring all that rain, those tsunamis, that's your how about Shema Shai visiting the earth, man, which he made. So all you proud peon, Edomite crackers, and two-thirds, just know that this hurricane season is going to get you, man, okay? And guess what? That hurricane is going to do something, man, okay? It's going to do something, right? I gotta read that one more time. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 2. Behold, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, have a mighty and strong one. And when those hurricanes come through, they are straight up strong, man. Anything in its path is getting ripped to shreds, man. Okay? Cars getting thrown from here to there. People getting thrown from here to there. It says, um, as a tempest of hell and a destroying storm. As a flood of mighty waters overflowing shall cast down to the earth with the hand. Okay? So you have Bashim Yahshua is going to take that pride away from man. Man has been prideful long enough, man. Let's go to the book of St. Luke. Man has been prideful long enough. Now the God of the Bible got something for him. 
Then the God of the Bible got something for all you proud people, man. Okay? All you proud people on the face of the earth, you have a bunch of shot got something for you. This is um St. Luke chapter 21, verse 11. And it's written in red. It's the Lord speaking. Who you only call Jesus Christ, Lord Yahweh Shah, right? A great earthquake. It's like a, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. And you seeing that? And famines. And pestilence. And fearful sights. And that was a fearful sight. You know? That was a fearful sight. Seeing one one second, you know, so you got houses everywhere. People, you know, saying watering they um grass and Nice cars and the dog barking, having fun. You know, say the pride of life, right? Then that's how you know the next second you ain't got shit, man. You have a bunch of shot, just flatline everything, man. Okay, you go from a four story, you know, what I'm saying mansion, you know, what I'm saying to to rubble, man. Okay, in less than a second, man. That's what you have a bunch of shot gonna do to you, peons, man. You proud people, man. Once again, Saint Luke chapter twenty one, verse eleven, and great earthquakes. Shall be in diverse places, in famines, and pestilence, pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heavens. Okay, so you have about Shemel Shai came with the fearful sights, man. Tear your whole neighborhood up, man. Okay, and you waking up, Lord help me, Lord help me. Well, he ain't helping you, all right? He ain't helping. He ain't helping these heathens, and he ain't helping two thirds, man. That's pretty much the lesson, man. I mean, I could go on and go on, but the point has been made. Storm and tempest, that's what you have about Shemir Shai visiting you people with, man. Okay? And he's going to continue to, to visit you peons, man. You copper tops. And so he makes the point that you fear him, man. Okay? And you're not, you're not big and bad as you thought you was, man. Okay? So that was just a quick gem. That's on the go, Storm and Tempest. You've seen the news clip. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you better get your act together before you be the next victim to end up with a storm hitting you, man. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Kahalal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Waha Rakak Wadash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessings to all you sincere icons, man. Pushing this Bible week in and week out. Send, send it forth the warning, man. Okay? Storm and tempest. Don't get caught up in the next one. Shalom.